Hey everyone, it's Marissa here and I have a project share that I wanted to show you guys. Um, today I was able to get in the craft room and um, <clears throat> do some crafting. So, um, what you see here is um, the big sty which is called Flowers 3D and I picked this up from my last Hobby Lobby trip last week and this is the die that I kept on going back and forth with myself if I should get it or not and I finally got it and I am loving this die you guys have to check this out if you guys don't have it get it um so I was playing with this die yesterday and um I was making some flowers I melt I made some felt flowers and some um fabric flowers using this die and I think I don't know if you guys have used this before for some of you. I think the felt dyes or or the felt flowers are a lot easier to um to use in the fabric. So um I was just playing around with it and I um have a sample of a flower that I made and then what I did was I made a ring actually out of this. So I'm just gonna wear it and I love it. It's so pretty. I'm in love, 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 love with this die. So if you guys don't have it, get it. So in this video, I made some cards and I incorporated the flowers that I made yesterday with this die. And also, I have this 12 by 12 paper here. And this is by the Girls Papery. Um, and this is called Vintage Whimsy. And I purchased this, I believe, from Hobby Lobby. And the products that I'm showing you today, I use this whole 12 by 12 paper. Um, I didn't want to just use a little bit of it and then just store it away in my um, scraps. So I tried to use the whole 12 by 12 paper and I wanted to share with you what I did. So the first thing I made, I made three cards with it. Three cards and a little picture frame. The first card I made was this one, and I am loving this card. Loving, loving, loving this card. Um, it kind of looks like washi tape because of the patterns going down, but it's not. But with this card, I just um, cut some white cardstock and added the paper line. And then I added some pearl, um, some pearls all around and then these are the paper or the um, fabric and um, felt flowers that I made with that dye and isn't it so super cute um, this fabric here that I um, made these ones with is this vintage well it's not vintage but it's so shabby and I think I got this from this was on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I use, it's this pattern fabric here. And this is the fabric that I use to make these flowers. And look how cute, that I think they just add so much cuteness to a card. Um, so I used the, that fabric for these flowers here and then I just popped a um, pearl in the center and then used the felt flowers and popped some pearls in the middle, middle as well and then I used some of these sprays from the wedding section at Hobby Lobby and then I use that um, geez I can't remember that punch that I purchased from Joann's don't remember what it's called but I added the sentiment hello and then the inside of the card looks like this so I'm really happy the way this card turned out um, and then with the same paper, something similar but different, I made this. Look how cute. I'm, I'm, I don't know how many times I can tell you, but I am in love with this die. Look at these flowers. They're so cute. And I made these flowers yesterday. So, and I knew I wanted to make a card with them. So, um, use the same flowers. I added some sprays here. And then added a doily in the middle. And then I used this um, 
I purchased this yesterday from Michael's on clearance, and it was one of these um, wooden tags. So I used that, and then I just kind of um, used some of this trim from Hobby Lobby as well, and then just glued it to the bottom of the, the wooden banner. So this was really simple but sweet, and I love it. The inside, I just cut a piece of pink paper or cardstock. So there's that. And then I thought I would do something different, and I made a smaller card. Super simple. Um, these are one of those recollection um, cards that are already, you know, they come with the envelope and they're folded. And what I did was I just added some of that pink cardstock that you see in here. I added it to this. And then I used um, some white paper. And then I used this polka dot um, embossing folder. And I seen this on, um, I think it was either Pinterest or on a magazine. But it was just really simple. But I loved it because I liked the way they embossed it. And then I used two of my Martha Stewart punches. Um, it's the Monarch Butterfly one and then the regular one that I purchased last time as well. And it's the same paper line. And then I just added some um, like pink um, pearl trim in the middle. So that's super simple. And then the last thing I made was this frame. As you guys know, this is from Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, Michaels. And in the inside, I used the um, paper line as well. And then I added a stickles, um, not stickles, a thickers um, sticker. And it's like, it's like tiny white, um, it looks like polka dots, but they're like tiny hearts. And then I just added various flowers. You know, I have some flowers I got from downtown. Some of these um, $1.50 bin flowers that I got for 50 cents. Added some pearls. So I thought that came out so super cute. Very simple, but yet it's so elegant. So again, I used all of my 12 by 12 paper. And I'll show you what I have left. This is all I have left from the 12 by 12 paper. So I was able to make three cards and this um, frame. So let me know what you guys think. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Um, I'm going to try. Hopefully I can craft again tomorrow. Um, but I hope everybody has a great evening. Let me know what you guys think. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.